Hello everyone! In this short video, I will try to walk you through the process of drawing various functions on decimals and explain how to connect them smoothly. You can think of it as drawing continuous piecewise functions. In order to demonstrate this, I've chosen the picture of a mountain and what I will try to do is use the graphs of various functions to mimic the shape of the top of the mountain. By the way, this is a picture of an island in my hometown, Albania. And in my younger days, I used to watch the sunsets every single day, especially during the summer. And a friend of mine took this picture a couple years ago and sent it to me. So going back to our functions, I'm going to get started with a linear function because I see that from 0, 0, the shape of the mountain, the top of the mountain, mimics the shape of a linear function. In order to do this, I will type the equation of the linear function in the form y equals mx plus b. In order to enter the coefficients, you simply use a keyboard, but for the variables, you must use the x and the y from this part of the calculator. And plus b here. And you probably notice that once I write the equation, or as I write the equation, two sliders pop up. The two sliders are for each coefficient. So I'm going to select all in here because I want to play with both coefficients. As you see, the purple graph appears, and this is a graph of y equals 1x plus 1. Now we want the graph to start at 0, 0, which means we want the y-intercept to be 0, so we'll use the slider here to make the y-intercept 0. And now we're going to play with the slope. So you're going to slide this over. The slope seems to be less than 1, so I'm going to move towards the left. And I will follow the graph the, in the meantime. And I will stop when I see that the graph has matched the shape of the mountain. You have to play around with it a little bit and be patient. Now the next thing I want to do is restrict the domain because I do not want my graph to appear throughout x equals any real number. So in order to do this, you go back to your function and you're going to use these squiggly brackets to enter the domain. Remember the domain must be in set notation, not in interval notation. And I will start by writing 0 less than or equal to x and then less than or equal to. And now I have to check and see uh, up to what x value is the function linear. So just by eyeballing here, I see that it is linear up to x equals 3. So I'm going to leave it there. And as you see here, we've drawn the first part of the graph. Okay. Now, for the next part of the graph, I'm, or, or, or for the next part of the mountain, I'm going to say that I want to use a quadratic function. So I will go down here to enter a new function. You can enter a quadratic function either in standard or vertex form. I tried to uh, use standard form before, but for some reason not all sliders showed up. So I'm going to play it safe now and I'm going to use the vertex form instead. So I'm going to start with coefficient a, obviously. And then open brackets. Oops, I opened two sets of brackets. <laughs> x minus h. Close brackets squared. And then plus k. Now remember that the letters you choose don't matter at all. So they don't have to be uh, specifically the same as the ones that we've used in our lessons. So as you see here, three sliders popped up, and that's one for each coefficient we have here, and I will accept all of them or select all of them because I want to play with all of them. Now, um, in this case, what we are going to do is first try to change the shape of the graph. I'm going to start with A because I know the shape of the graph will be a parabola that opens down. So I'm going to go towards the negative values of A. And once I've somehow changed the shape of the graph, I'm going to play with the coefficient h. I want to bring the function slightly to the right. And nothing is final. You can always change them until you're happy with the shape of the graph. And now I'm going to bring the function a little bit higher. And that's only because 
my parabola seems to be below the top of the mountain. So you have to be gentle as you do that, okay? And um, now I'm going to uh, restrict the domain of the function because I don't want the parabola to occupy the whole space in here. And again, we're going to go back to the squiggly brackets. We are starting at x equals 3, so we're going to start with number 3. And this time I'm not going to use equal to, I'm just going to use less than, not less than a, an or equal to, and then x. And as you see here, we kind of have a connection, a smooth connection between the two graphs. And I'm going to stop at the point where I see that the parabola is off the mountain. So I would say at 5.5 for now. Okay. And again, as I said, nothing really is final, right? So you can always check and change things around as you see them fit. Now, I do not really like this connection, I did this, the connection between the two graphs. So what I am going to do is play with the coefficient. Um, sorry, my pencil did this. <laughs> it's easier when you blame the pencil, right? Okay, I should have been more careful. Okay, perfect. So. What we are going to do now is play a little bit with the coefficient k or maybe with the coefficient a because if we make it a little bit more um, bent, so if we change the vertical stretch, no, we don't want to do that. Let's maybe k a little bit further to the positives. Okay, so that looks uh, slightly better, but for A, I'm going to stick with negative 0 0.1 instead. So, not quite happy with this. I'm going to change H just a tiny little bit. All right, I think now it's perfect. Okay, so with this, I've completed the second graph. And I have to think of the next part of the mountain. So you have to think of what kind of shape or what kind of graph you want to use there. Remember, you can use either a rational, an exponential, a sinusoid, cosinusoid. And with your roller coaster assignment, you will have um, more uh, options to choose from. And uh, your decisions will be a lot more easier than uh, mimicking the shape of this mountain. So you will continue with the rest of the graphs in the same fashion and um, hopefully you will draw a beautiful, fascinating, r exciting roller coaster. And I hope you enjoy the assignment and I hope that you found this video useful as well. Uh, if you have any further questions, please don't forget to shoot me an email and I will respond to you as quickly as I can.